A recent wave of attacks by Boko Haram insurgents and ISIL affiliates in West Africa is sparking fears of a resurgence despite claims by Nigeria's military that the group has been severely degraded. The latest of such attacks is Sunday's multiple suicide attacks, killing dozens in Bono State. CGTN's Daniela Pearson has more in the following report. Here. Triple suicide bomb attacks have killed 30 people and injured at least 40 others in Konduga, a small town some 25 kilometers south of Maiduguri, the capital of Borno. Sunday's attack broke a spell of no suicide attacks in the area since April this year. No one has claimed responsibility, but a faction led by Abu Bakar Shakao is known to operate in the southern part of Borno state. The group is also known to rely on children to carry out suicide attacks. The UN Children's Agency, UNICEF, says two girls and a boy carried out the attacks. In total, five children have been used to carry out suicide attacks this year, compared to 40 last year. It is a market fall in the use of children as suicide attackers, but the group is said to have devised new conscription tactics to recruit more children into their ranks. We also pay money from what we hear uh, to have uh, does that kind of um, support from members of the society who are economically deprived and need uh, the, the money. Um, the fourth one, the final one, is where they use psychosocial means to convince um, young people and women to support some of these actions. So in other words, they give the impression that uh, women are not being regarded in the society so they convince them that if they do this, they are going straight to paradise or whatever kind of um, stories they tell them. But in what appears to be a resurgence of Boko Haram, the group is not just wrecking havoc in southern Borno state. The insurgents have kept the Nigerian military fully engaged on two major front lines. In the south of Borno, the shakao led faction launched repeated attacks. In the northern parts, ISIL affiliates led by Musa al-Barnawi has also been in constant confrontation with the army. Some reports suggest that the insurgents have been overrun by some 20 military bases in those areas in the past months, and they seem to be on a path to regain territories. The leader of IS at the global you know, level, that's uh, al-Baghdadi, actually issued a statement where he called on jihadists to come to the aid of their brothers in the West African sub-region which may suggest why we are seeing an increase in the membership of uh, this group. Now, what has happened is that some of these new members are coming uh, with new technology that they've acquired from places like Libya, Iraq, and Syria. Some of them are also coming with weapons that they are bringing in into Nigeria. And then lastly, we are also, we're also seeing perhaps an increase in funding. Boko Haram is blamed for killing tens of thousands since the group began its violent campaign in 2009. President Buhari has made defeating the group his top priority, but various observers claim that he has only succeeded in eradicating them, while defeating them has remained an elusive dream. Daniela Pearson, CGTN.